Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs. Il était une fois. There lived these people with a certain je ne sais quoi. Divided by borders and space all around, little did they know just how closely they were bound. Cyprus stood alone and Albania across the sea, while Serbia and Macedonia kept them company. But not so far away were the Netherlands and Belgium, and one day they would meet in a place where all were welcome. I'll firstly state the obvious, the first is what we see. They look and dress and drink their coffee oh so differently. But there's another side to this, the dark reality. War and devastation are part of their history. But fear not, we will not linger on a story of the past. Au contraire, we are searching for a future built to last. So let's get into places. So we may begin our story with a grandmother and daughter having their morning coffee. In your fortune, I see a tall blonde man entering your life and you will fall in love and he will want you as his wife. The daughter said, but grandma, I am only 23. I want to live my life after university. The father came in furious. They never could agree. 23, at your age, I was serving in the army. <laughs> the war is over, mother said. Just get over it. Take your story somewhere they think you're full of wit. So off he went to the cafe, just a five minute walk, and there he saw his friend with whom he really could talk. He hit his knee and shook his fist and drank a cup of tea. While beating his chest, he screamed, Oh, my knee! <laughs> if you're wondering, ladies and gentlemen, where this story is taking place, in the Balkans, in every village, despite religion and race. Meanwhile, in the distance, our friends don't understand how they don't come together as one nation hand in hand. Everything is similar. If not, it is the same. The difference is that they may call it by a different name. And so they hopped onto a plane to take a closer look and visited this village in the mountains by a brook. They walked to the cafe and their voices were oh so loud. They said, Gare Central is quieter than the smallest crowd. They tried to interfere and maybe stop the fight, but they said, It's okay, relax, everything's alright. <laughs> we are not from around here, but uh, just on holiday. And they said, welcome to our country. With us, you can stay. <laughs> so then they met the grandmother and his beautiful daughter. And they said, we will throw a massive party in your honor. <laughs> they danced and ate and sang, um, each in their special way. And each time they said goodbye, they stayed another day. <laughs> One day, the man approached the father with much courage and said, I'd like to ask for your lovely daughter's hand in marriage. The father was ecstatic that this moment had finally come. He said, I'd be honored to have you as my son. <laughs> so they had a gorgeous wedding, 40 days and 40 nights, and everybody in the land forgot about their fright. They realize it's the little things that bring us all together. And united in peace, life would surely be much better. And so the rain it poured to the distant sound of thunder. And so the rain it poured to the distant sound of thunder. And through the clouds the sunshine on the land of Balkananda. And through the clouds the sunshine on the land of Balkananda. <laughs> <laughs>